Welcome to the next tutorial. Here we are going to learn about different types of crossover and different types of mutation. So whenever we have to attempt any type of numerical or genetic algorithm, just the type of a crossover and a type of a mutation is going to change. And type of a selection which I will cover in next video. In this video we will learn different types of crossover and different types of mutation. First type is a single point crossover. Like I explained you in the last video. A single point crossover is there are two parents and at a single point at any bit like uh, in the current example uh, what we have done is at the fifth bit what we have done is at the fifth bit we have made a crossover line so this crossover line is made at a fifth bit of both the parents like uh, in the in the gray part you could see it is parent number one in a white part it is parent number two and now once we make that crossover point the single crossover the string is divided into two parts one is the head part and one is the tail part the left hand side part it is uh, for the first string 0 0 0 0 is the head part and the remaining part becomes the tail part and in a similar way for parent number 2 1 1 1 1 on the left hand side like 5 times 1 becomes the head and the remaining becomes the tail so in this one point crossover what we do is in the next step while we are producing a children or like generating children so child number 1 would be generated with the head of the first parent like you can see 0 0 0 0 in the, of the first parent and the tail of the second parent is taken like the tail of the second parent is 1 1 1 1 1 1 the tail is taken from the second parent and similarly for a second child the head is taken from the second parent but the tail is taken from the first parent so with this we are explaining single point crossover then we move to uh, like end point crossover so we have to understand that this is a kind of a special case over here or uh, where n point crossover is where we are going to make many crossovers <laughs> like we can make any point crossover like n point is one crossover two three more than one is n point crossover so for like for example like this odd number of crossover is done like three crossover is done so for that what we do is for the first part i am like zooming in for the first part the part between the first crossover and the second crossover like you can see for the first parents it is 0 0 0 and for the second parents it is 1 1 1 so the part between both of the parents like parent 1 and parent 2 is going to get exchanged while producing the child as you can see in the children part of it the 1 1 1 1 of the second parent is given to the first parent whereas the left hand side of the part of the first parent that is the head of you can say the left hand side is retained and what we have changed is the part between the two crossover lines we have changed that part and then there is one more crossover you can see like one more crossover so what we do is after that crossover after that crossover what that part is that we are going to extend like you can see there are three crossover so for the first part what we do is between the two crossover part we exchange that part and for the third crossover what we do is we exchange the part which is left on the right hand side of the crossover like you can see 0 0 0 for the first string is exchange is given to the second children child and the 1 1 1 1 of the second parent is given to a first child so in this way whenever there is an odd number of crossover what we do is First we take the part between the two crossover that is even crossover and then the further or like the third crossover or maybe fifth crossover so the part which remains after this crossover that is exchanged so in all we have to take care if it is even then what we can do is we can take the part between the two crossovers so we have to just take care when there is odd number of crossover odd number of crossover parts then we move to the third part that is uniform crossover this is a bit tricky like you have to understand this so whenever <coughs> we have to do this uniform crossover so this uniform generated mass is mask is generated it is the, num the number of the pets in this uniform generated mass is equivalent to the child one and parent one and parent two now the number of the pits are going to remain same but this is randomly generated so you don't have to take any kind of pressure like how to generate this mask this will be given to you or you can generate it on your own so this uniform generated mass most probably it would be given to you for solving the numericals and once it is given to you what we have to do is when you have to produce a child number one just observe carefully and when you have to produce a child number one so we are going to take the string of the parent number one that is x1 but what we do is we are going to apply this uniform generated mass on parent number one what is that operation 
the operation is the pit where the uniform generated marks is one that number of pit in the parent would be reversed as you can see this uniform generated marks first bit is one so in parent number one what we do is we flip the first bit like you can see in bold that it is zero so in the child what we do is we flip that bit bit and then becomes one similarly as you can see one two three four five six seven three six seven seventh bit is one like you can see the bold one and similarly the seventh bit of the parent one was one but in this operation what we have to do is uniform crossover is we will flip that bit one to zero in the child as you can see that is bold and similarly for the child number two what we will do is just apply this uniform generated marks on parent number two and whichever bit is one we are going to flip that in the child as you can see the first bit of x2 is one but in the child it is zero we have flipped this bit because of the uniform generated mass so we have to first follow that wherever there is one in the uniform generated mass pin we have to flip that number of bit from the palette so with this uh, we have explained with this uniform crossover then we move to the three parent crossover three parent crossover is if there are three parents involved then what will be the combination of the child so this is very important like we have to focus like how it is going to work so you have to just do bit wise like consider the first bit of parent one it is one first bit of parent two is zero third uh, first bit of parent three is zero so the child is getting the zero bit so it is quite understandable what we are doing over here is we are taking the majority bit it is like we are taking the majority it's like majority over this one or the first bit between parent one parent two parent three is zero so the child is going to get the zero bit similarly in the second part parent one and parent two have got one one so now we know that majority is the one so we will directly give that one to the child and in the third example as you can see is parent one is having zero parent two is having one so now we see parent number three now like what is the majority parent number three would be zero then we would give zero to the child but in this case at the third bit it is one so we'll give one bit to the child in this way we are going to check the bit and we have to find the majority which one is the majority and once we do find that which one is the majority we will give assign that bit to the child this is called as three parent crossovers so with this we have come to an end of this type of crossovers and then this uh, there are two other kind of crossover very important but not that important but we will discuss it a bit like the shuffle crossover so what we do in this shuffle crossover is a single crossover position that is and in single point crossover selected the, the way we are going to do is it is going to be similar to a single point crossover but before the variables are exchanged they are randomly shuffled in both patterns basically what we are going to do is we are going to shuffle the variables and then we are going to apply that point crossover in there and then this ordered crossover what we do is given two parent chromosome what we do is uh, we divide this into two parts like I said the, the parent one is having the bit 4, 2, 1, 3, 6, 5 so I made uh, like they made two crossover points one is after the second and one is after the third what we do is 4 and 2 will remain the same 6 and 5 will remain the same the part in between in between the two crossover lines are going to get extended like we can see 1, 4 is that part is going to get shuffled that is 3 is given 3 and 1 position is replaced in the child so what you have to do is just replace the position of 3 and 1 like the, the, if whatever number of bit is, is there in between those crossover what we have to do is we have to middle section of parent 1 in the order in which the values appear in parent 2 So in this way we can determine the child number 1 and child number 2. With this we have come to an end of this ordered crossover. So like I would like to explain you this ordered crossover once more like there is a kind of a confusion there was then it has got cleared now. So I would like to explain you again like how this works as this is a bit tricky part. What we have to do is we have to change the middle part that's what we know that is 1 and 3 is there but how are we going to change the middle part so what we have to see is 
in the parent number two when is one coming when is three coming so we observe that in parent number two three comes first then comes one so in order in which the numbers comes in the parent number two we are going to replace it in the same way that is one three was the previous order but then we say that three comes first and then one comes so we are going to change that in the child so three and one then similarly for the parent number two what we see is we have to exchange this middle part it is one four but what we see is order like what is the order in the parent number one so the order is four and then one that's why we put the order is four and one this one is called as ordered crossover like we have to see the order of the second parent is in order to determine the child of the first parent the child which will be coming from the first parent so in this we have to see the order in which order the number is coming in the similar way we will be we have to replace the middle part that is for sure but then how are we going to change that part? It depends on the order in which that number appears in the parent number 2. Similarly for parent number 2 we will see the parent number 1. So with this we finally come to close of this or types of crossover. Now we move to mutation. Like I would like to take you to software testing point. Mutation is something like changing the string. Like the changing the original string. So there is just mutation is quite simple. We will directly move to the type of mutation. Mutation is just changing the string. First type of mutation. Simple. Flipping. What this flipping is, flipping of a bit involves changing 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 based on a mutation chromosome generated. So what we have done is, <coughs> at what there is a mutation chromosome like in the uniform mass over we saw in the uniform mass we saw in the crossover. Similarly, a mutation chromosome will be given to you at the position <coughs> where the mutation chromosome is having the bit 1. We are going to flip that bit of the parent. That is, first bit is 1. So first bit of parent is 1 but in the child it is 0 because at any point, at any bit of mutation chromosome with this 1 we are going to flip that bit <coughs> of the parent and we are going to generate the child. Similarly as you can see this fifth bit of mutation chromosome is 1, parent it is 0 but now we are going to flip it, we are going to make it to 1 and similarly with other, so you can see the last bit of mutation chromosome is 1 then parent is 1 but now according to this flipping position we are going to flip it we are going to make it 0 so in this way flipping works now the second uh, is very simple interchanging interchanging involves what is two random position of the string are chosen and the bits corresponding to that positions are changed like in the given example what we have done is we have taken second bit 4, 5, 6. In the 6th bit, so we have taken any bit, like we have this our choice, whichever bit, 2 bits you want to take, take those bit, exchange them, just call this interchange. Like in this current example, it is, we have taken a second and the 6th bit, and we have exchanged it. <coughs> now we move to the last type of a mutation, it is called as reversing. What we do is, a random position is chosen, and the bits next to that position are reversed. This is very important. Reverse means what? <coughs> any, at any point we are going to uh, sorry for this cuff part of it sorry for disturbance now we move to the last part of our lecture that is reversing in mutation how it works it is very important this particular example is also important and how the reversing really works in the like, really when we are going to do this mutation just make a line take any random bit and just just make a line and the remaining part like this is also going to divide into two parts left hand part and the right hand side part what we have to do is the part which is remaining on the right hand side we have to reverse it like in the current case it is 101 so if we are going to reverse 101 it is going to remain same as 101 that's why what we are doing is reversing what we do is we don't reverse all the bits but what we do is 101 we convert it to 110 because in the next step if we are going to reverse one more bit then it is going to remain the same we are going to get 101 so in this particular example we are not reverse completely but in a kind of example it is like something like if you are getting 0 1 1 so after reversing it will be 1 1 0 so in the example in the example we are going to get 0 1 1 as the last part the remaining part so we have to change it and we have to make it to 1 1 0 reversing we have to do it completely but in the current scenario 1 0 1 the reversing of that 1 0 1 would lead us again to 1 0 1 so for that purpose we have made it to 1 1 0 we can stop it there itself so with this we come to end of this lecture so any question comes of the genetic algorithm just see the type of a crossover they are asking just see the type of the mutation they are asking and just apply uh, use the method which i taught in the last lecture and just um, solve the numerical in the easy way in the best way in the efficient way
thank you for giving the time and to subscribe the channel for getting more such videos. Uh, I would be waiting for your reviews and comments. If you want to do any, please do it. Best of luck to the people.